well, this sucks. Our plans to land people on the moon again in 2027 are likely going to be delayed again by years thanks to SpaceX's Starship. If you're new to what's happening with the moon right now, NASA wants to build something called Artemis Base Camp on the South Pole. The plan is for astronauts to live and work there for extended periods of time to conduct science and research and technology development. So obviously, one of the most critical components here is actually being able to land people on the moon. We need a lander, not the one that we had in the 1960s. The lander that's currently in development is a variant of SpaceX's Starship called HLS or Human Landing System. NASA acronyms. <laughs> NASA recently visited SpaceX to check on HLS uh, because, well, they're they're paying for it um, and unfortunately concluded that they are likely years behind schedule, which puts us at significant risk of losing the moon to China and Russia. So why is it delayed? Well, one of the biggest issues is that the rocket is simply too big to carry all of the propellant it needs to get to the moon. So it's going to require SpaceX to launch potentially dozens of other Starship vehicles filled with propellant to then refuel HLS on its way to the moon. The problem is refueling in orbit is incredibly complex, especially refueling cryogenically cooled propellants. And NASA has said that work has slowed due to competing priorities with SpaceX's own Starship development. Now we should still see the launch of Artemis II early next year. They're targeting February. If you're new here or just need a reminder, that is the launch of four astronauts in an Orion capsule around the moon. They're actually gonna go farther than any human has ever gone before, but they're not actually going to land on the moon. Artemis 2 is basically Apollo 10 and Artemis 3 in an unknown amount of time will be Apollo 11. 